Hello, hello everybody. This is Rhea with Posh Plum Plans and today I am coming at you with my first ever Be Happy box. So this is the one for um, the combination of the Happy Planner and the Social Type. I don't know if you have seen this one out and about, but oh my gosh, you guys, this one is gorgeous. I have never been moved by a Be Happy box so much to actually warrant purchasing one, but this one in particular, I just had to get. I love the colors. I love how bright and beautiful it is for 2020. And if you guys have been watching for a minute, you know that I am in Florida. So all of these flamingos and the bright and the beach and all that kind of stuff it just really speaks to me so I had to pick this one up as part of my 2020 lineup so let's just go through it really quick this little flamingo here is so absolutely adorable I love it it's a embroidered patch it's a sticker so you don't actually have to iron it on anything I thought it was gonna be an iron-on but it's not it is super cute and for a lot of this stuff I'm just gonna have to figure out where to put it because some of these larger stickers uh, I'm not used to having them and I don't really know where to put them I've got some ideas but we'll talk about that later so the embroidered patch absolutely gorgeous I'm just gonna start taking apart this pretty little setup I've got here. These are a Hello Today die cut block pad. So it's basically note paper here. It's not sticky like a, you know, like a sticky note would be, but it's just loose paper. You can absolutely punch one side if you want to put this inside your happy planner, like for some notes and then kind of put it on the rings. You can definitely do that with this. And it's so cute. It says hello today right here. So perfect for any notes that you've got going on that you need to write in for the day. Next, we can talk about the nail stickers that are in here. These Olive and June stickers are absolutely adorable. I will admit I've never heard of Olive and June before. I'm not much for um, putting stickers on my nails, but these I think I absolutely will have to either for myself or for my girls. I'm not sure. I love the color palette, although it does differ greatly from the color palette in the rest of the Be Happy box. I was hoping that these would be closer to the color palette that's here. I think I might have appreciated them just a little bit more, but they are super cute, kind of pastel, almost babyish colors. There's also a gorgeous dashboard in here. I love everything about the foiling gold hollow on it. And it is so perfect for just a bright, shiny 2020. I'm so excited. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put up here yet. Do you guys have any ideas? Like what do you do for your dashboards? Do you use a planner sticker? Do you write up here with a Sharpie? Like how do you list or how do you um, label your dashboards? I would love to know in the comments down below. Give me some hints because I'm gonna need help putting something up here and deciding what exactly to use that for. The filler sheets in here are super pretty. They are double-sided. So on the front, they say, make it happen today. And it's just note line paper. And then on the back, it says, slay the day. So you've got that really cute blue on the back, or sorry, blue on the back, goodness. Blue in the front, pink in the back, super cute and just goes perfectly with the rest of the color scheme. So this is again, lined paper, perfect for making notes or lists. I like to take paper like this and split it right down the middle. You can do um, like a today and tomorrow, this week, next week, pros and cons, whatever you wanna do for note paper like this. That's how I like to do it, is just split it right down the middle and start making lists. I love this kind of paper. So I'm so excited that it's pretty on the front and the back. The sticker sheets in here are one of the main reasons why I wanted this Be Happy box because can you feel the vibes, the good vibes from these stickers? They are incredible. Again, with the gold hollow, there's lots of functional stickers in here, lots of uh, decorative stickers in here. And I think I can definitely find uses for all of this stuff. Again, like I said, I'm in Florida, so even though you know, we're in the middle of winter. and I mean, we're still eating ice cream and going to the beach. <laughs> I'm sorry to rub that in, but that's just kind of what Florida Christmas is like where I am. And so all of these just really spoke to me. I love these little money stickers. How stinking adorable that they are like hand drawn and super cute. I love those. All these arrows. I find myself trying to draw cute little arrows like this. Oh my goodness. And they look awful. They really do. <laughs> I'm trying to work on my handwriting. You guys know that from previous videos. 
but I saw these and thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna scan these, put these on my iPad, and then practice doodling in Procreate all of these little arrows. I thought they were so cute. Anyway, sticker sheets to die for. Next are the big sticker sheets. Now this is probably where I'm gonna need the most help in deciding where to put these. Big stickers like this I think are so gorgeous and here's a different kind of hollow, kind of like a silvery hollow. Um, and I'm gonna need help deciding what to do with these because I don't, like I said, I don't often have big stickers. So I don't really have a place like off the top of my head, oh, I know where I'm gonna put this because I really don't. This page is full of one, two, you got three big stickers and they are on white paper. So that is not translucent, they are on white paper. And these stickers over here are on clear paper. So these are a page of clear stickers. Every one of these is clear. So I thought of putting it on, I've got um, a budgeting book right here. This is the budget, I guess the budget expansion pack, which I haven't used yet. And I've got it ready to go for 2020. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use this. This is total side note, sorry guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this the whole year. So I just got a little bit, put it on some little tiny discs here and I'll try it out and see if it really helps me. I'm not really sure that it will. However, I just grabbed some green cardstock paper that I had, threw it on as a cover, and then I saw these stickers and I thought, oh wow, I should put some of these stickers on this as a cover and then maybe laminate it and make this more of a permanent cover. Because as of right now, it's just cardstock and that's gonna get damaged really quickly. <laughs> so probably some big stickers are gonna end up on this pack um, or on this cover. And that is my initial idea. So if you guys have more ideas for what to do with these, if you've gotten these big stickers before and you have like a genius way to use them, please let me know in the comments below. Again, I'm gonna need help using these big stickers. Not exactly sure what to do with them. And then last but not least is the absolutely beautiful, again with the gold hollow, the planner that you get. So I wanted this planner in particular because, well, it's gorgeous. Let's just look at it. These rings, I love the color of the rings and every piece of this planner is just beautiful to me. I love this inside cover, that artwork is gorgeous. I feel like I would you know, frame that even after I'm done using the planner. I just love the way it's very artistic and it looks like messy brush strokes just kind of like thrown onto the paper. Super creative, I really love that. It's very inspiring to look at. Again, the discs are a different color scheme than I've ever seen before. And then everything in here, is just, you know, a repeat of that gorgeous color scheme. So there is the back inside cover, but let's go through this really quick. It is, um, it does have the 2020 and the 2021 calendar here, like all of them. The new year at a glance pages that everybody is loving. I love these too. I usually use these for my girls school schedules just so that I can look really quick at a glance and say, okay, this is what we're doing for school. I may find a more creative way to use this this year, but in the past, it's always what I've done with a year at a glance. So those pages are here. And then this is what we are looking at. So this is the currently page with your January goals, a big section here that is just completely open with grid. And then down here, there is a remember this section, which the happy planner graciously puts in the holidays. And then you can write in whatever else you want here so looking into huh, the future is so bright looking into the monthly pages we have first thing here that I have not seen before and granted I'm not saying that this is groundbreaking I just have not seen it before which you know I could be hidden under a rock but <laughs> I have never seen these three colored blocks in a monthly spread before I think that's really nice I am aligned planner girl. I love to have lines. These do not have lines. So I'll admit that makes me a little bit nervous, but I just have to step up my handwriting game. That's all that means, right? Is that I have beautiful handwriting, then I can put it in boxes with no lines and I could feel good about it. <laughs> so anyway, we're moving on. So the January and the 2020 are in this block letter with a beautiful rainbow gradient um, matching the color scheme here. We are looking at a dashboard layout for this planner. So I've got the beginning of my week here, still has a little bit of December into January. The to buy section is nice and long for tons of things that I'll need to buy. Errands are still here, an important section, just completely blank, no lines, no grid. And then this section, the focus section down here is open and grid 
down here, but no um, no decoration or design to kind of compete with. So I like that this is pretty much open with a little bit of the gradient coloring in here. And the errands being a light pink does not bother me, not one bit. So for the dashboard layout, we again have dinner plans. The Monday through Sunday are in this beautiful rainbow color scheme. And then the rest of it is just black and white, very clean, crisp lettering. I love that it's almost neutral if there weren't touches of rainbow sprinkled around. So I like that this planner does not have a whole lot of decoration to compete with. But anyhow, because there are some rainbow colors in here, I think it would be hard to find a planner spread that would not go with um, with the theme. You're, you're gonna find your blues, your pinks, your purples, your greens, you're gonna find all those colors in here. So it will tie in, in my opinion, unless you really don't like rainbow, then I don't recommend this planner for you. So we'll flip through and of course all of the pages are the same until you get to the end of the month and we are looking into February. So I'll flip through the dashboards really quick and show you what we are looking at. And then this last page is a notes page again, and it does match the three colors that are in the monthly section. So that pink, that yellow, that green that are in here, that's what your notes page looks like in the back. And then of course, you can add in your filler paper right here in the back, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. You know what, just to make it easier, I am going to cut the deck in half. <laughs> and then put this in right in the back. I love having a planner that's got note paper in it, like full on note paper, because I love to brainstorm. It's one of my favorite ways to use a planner. Um, and I don't like to brainstorm too much in the weekly pages, especially in the dashboard layout. It doesn't have a whole lot of room for something like uh, brainstorming, but I do like to brainstorm in the backs to, and have like scratch paper or even scribble paper so that the rest of the planner can look nice and neat and organized and I can have all my messy brain thoughts all the way back here. <laughs> so that is pretty much it for this planner, you guys. I love it, I'm so in love. These colors are just so inspiring. Um, I know there are some pe people out there who just love a really good neutral planner, but this one for me is, oh my goodness, I just get so happy looking at this. And is that not the point of happy planners? To have a planner that makes you happy so that you come back, use it every day, and then slay your goals. That's exactly what this is meant for, am I right? So that is it for all of the Happy Planner box, or the Be Happy box with the social type. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. I've been noticing a jump in subscribers lately, and I just wanna th say thank you so much to all of you new subscribers. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. I get so excited when I see that there's a new subscriber here to the Posh Plum Plants channel, and I hope you all are finding exactly what you're looking for when you're here. So. On that note, I will let you guys go. I'll catch you in the next video and happy planning. Bye guys.